Hello everyone, this is Chris Castle with SolidBox. Today we will show you how to properly uninstall SolidWorks. We call this process a clean uninstall. This will ensure that your next version of SolidWorks will run as smoothly as possible. After we've completed the clean uninstall, we will show you how to install your new version of SolidWorks. There are several steps involved with this process, but I'll go into great detail and take my time to make sure you don't get lost. The first thing we'll do is to make sure to copy any settings from SolidWorks. Those can include keyboard shortcuts or locations to specific folders that you use in SolidWorks, for example, Weldment Profiles. We'll transfer licenses, uninstall SolidWorks and any plugins, delete or rename any legacy folders that exist in the original installation folders, clean the registry, reboot the system, and very importantly, we'll use the opportunity to perform some system maintenance, updating video card drivers, any other, install, uh, any other Windows updates that relate to SolidWorks for example, .NET, and then we'll install SOLIDWORKS and finalize the process by installing any, any plugins like 3D connection software or Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS. As we mentioned, the first step is to copy any settings from SOLIDWORKS, but what does that mean exactly? If we take a look at the system options within SOLIDWORKS, there's a several locations where SOLIDWORKS looks for information. For example, under my File Locations tab, there is a location where I specify to pull uh, my particular uh, SOLIDWORKS templates from. And you can see that's on my D drive. And there's other locations. For example, some people may have their weldment profiles in a different folder too. You can see that mine are also custom. Also, there's also the, the issue of customizing SOLIDWORKS. For example, if I start a new document here and I take a look at um, the custom option, customize, customize option under the pull down menu here, keyboard tab has lots of custom tab, uh, shortcuts that I've created over the, the last few years. I don't want to lose those after uninstalling SOLIDWORKS and moving to a new version of SOLIDWORKS. So with just these these options alone, we don't want to lose them. We can capture them using the copy settings wizard tool. So simply click on the start button and type in copy settings and you can see just by t typing a few, num a few letters there I see the copy settings wizard. It's a pretty intuitive tool allows me to save and restore. I'm going to save my settings for my current installation of SOLIDWORKS. Now this is quite important here. I recommend that you save the file that's created to somewhere convenient like your desktop. I'm going to call this 2012 settings. And you can see here we, we can be very specific on what we want to save including the shortcuts, anything we did to the menu, uh, like the pull down menus, system options, those are specifically things like where uh, reference documents are, uh, are, uh, are referenced in the, of course, the toolbar, toolbar layout. And for the most part, you'll want to do everything here. So I'll hit finish. It saves it and we're good to go. All right, the next thing is to transfer any licenses of SOLIDWORKS that you have currently activated on your system back to SOLIDWORKS. This is not a necessary step. However, if you're in doubts so if you're going to use the system again this particular hard drive for example then you want to make sure that you transfer the license back to SOLIDWORKS. The way you do it is to go to the help pull down menu within SOLIDWORKS go down to transfer licenses and you can see I have several things uh, installed and I'm simply going to do the option to automatically over the internet I'll hit next and it helps to actually have everything selected you hit next It'll take a few minutes. You have to be connected to the internet. But after a few few seconds, you will have confirmation that the the transfer of activation is successful. So we hit finish, and you'll notice that SOLIDWORKS closes. And it closes because there's no longer an, acti uh, uh, an activation uh, allocated for that machine. All right. Now, the next step is to actually just remove SOLIDWORKS from your system for formally as you would with any other programs. I find the easiest way to do that is just to type in here programs. And you do that, you'll finally see that there's a uninstall program shortcut in Windows. Now, you can see I have a lot of programs on my machine. And so I'll maximize this list here. Uh, I have quite a few programs. But like I mentioned, there's, we're gonna not only install uninstall SOLIDWORKS, we'll uninstall some third party software like the 3D connection. But let's start with SOLIDWORKS. We'll find it on the list and you see here there's the option to click on it and there's an uninstall okay now all this really does is when you hit uninstall is it brings up the SOLIDWORKS 
uh, installation manager program. That's the program that helps download, install, and uninstall your SolidWorks. You see a summary here of all the products. There's some advanced options here, which is a standard um, a, a standard uninstall. You can hit change here, and then there's the option to 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 let it remove stuff from the registry. As I mentioned before, we're still going to do that manually, but we could also come in here and pick any uh, any uh, data files and folders, and any download files and folders. But let's take a look at, at what is ex exactly getting uninstalled here and removed. You can see here these are all the program locations. I can just kind of go down this list here. There's the uh, program file, SolidWorks directory, and so on. And you just keep going on this list. There's registry keys that are going to be removed here, and then. Uh, very importantly, there are these um, installation directories that we would normally have to uh, uninstall ourselves. But very importantly, I don't want it to delete the SolidWorks um, downloads folder. Why? Because earlier we used that folder, we used the, uh, the SolidWorks installation manager to download the new version of SolidWorks. You can see here I have the SolidWorks 2013 uh, Service Pack 0 download. So I don't want to remove that from, from the uh, from that so I'll just uninstall the download files and folders everything else is good to go we'll go ahead and hit next and it's a it's just a, a recap of what's going to be done we'll hit remove items and it's just warning you it's going to take a while and that that you are in fact uninstalling SolidWorks so we'll pause the video and let this complete so SolidWorks is now completely uninstalled I simply just hit the OK button and it's now gone and um, it's a sad moment for several people out there to think that their SOLIDWORKS is off their machine. But don't worry, we'll put the new version of SOLIDWORKS on soon enough. But we're going to take this opportunity here in the control panel uh, for the uh, with all the programs here to, to make sure we uninstall any other plugins that work within SOLIDWORKS. It's very important that you uninstall those as well. Um, technically, some of these plugins do work, again, if you do install SOLIDWORKS on top of them, but they do not work well. For example, the 3D connection pro products. Um, you want to uninstall this and reinstall it with SolidWorks to uh, to have it update the uh, plugin properly, so it automatically starts when with with Windows when Windows starts as well. So anyway, we're going to take the opportunity to uninstall the 3D Connection product. Okay. I'm going to just accept the defaults here and let it uninstall. Now I'll take this moment to talk about other programs you may have on your system. I don't have any other on on my system now, but I would typically have Mastercam for SolidWorks. Um, I also sometimes use a third-party program um, that that's um, that's called Rapid Rapid Form, and I use that on my machine, and it's tied to SolidWorks. Uh, and so those softwares you would actually remove at this point as well. Uh, when this is done, we're going to go into the registry. But I rec recommend before you even think about going to the registry that you go ahead and remove all these all these uh, pieces of software that are tied to SolidWorks. So you can see that this is now uh, completed we'll hit finish also if you were one of the few people that use SOLIDWORKS plastics for 2012 you want to take the opportunity to remove that as well now you see on my list I also have SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM uh, fortunately that does not have to be installed uh, we'll, sim we'll simply uh, rerun the installation for that after SOLIDWORKS 2013 is on and that will simply repair the link between um, that will reinstall the client plugin for 2013.